Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you how I did my makeup. It's not necessarily a tutorial, but it's more of a hanging out with you and talking while I do my makeup. If you want to see how I ended up looking like this, then please keep watching. I'm coming at you from the past now. I'm going to start by prepping my face with SPF by Kula. Like I've said before, this leaves my skin feeling very glowy, dewy, hydrated, and protected from the UV rays. So how have you been? I've been great ever since New York, no, ever since um, I saw Harry Styles live on tour. Nothing can top it. Uh, it's all I think about. Next, I'm going to do a small, basic eyeshadow look. Sorry. First, I apply concealer as a primer because if I don't, the shadow will still go onto my lids. It just won't stay as long and it won't go on as pigmented as opposed to when you prep with either concealer or an eyeshadow primer. If I feel like I apply too much, I just tap it with my beauty blender just a little bit to take away the excess product. And then I do set this before I go in with eyeshadow. My eyelids look crazy, but everything comes together at the very end. Oh, I should have cleaned the palette before showing it on camera. This is the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. Most of you probably know about it. I always start any of my looks with either raw sienna or burnt orange, as you can see. They're the ones I use the most. I do mix them, tap the excess, and start applying and blending on the highest point of my crease. That's where I always go in with the lightest shades that I'm using. I blend in... I blend sideways and also in little circles. I focus on the outer edge and then towards the inner. Sienna and burnt orange only to begin with. By the way, this is a Morphe brush M441. They're not the best, but I got it um, because they were so hyped at one point. Now I go in with another fluffy brush, which is one end out of two from this Sephora brush that came in a brush collection. This little brush is really nice for blending, but it is fluffier, so I use it for another crease shade. This is a more orange red, red ochre. Venetian red is a glittery raspberry shade, and then this one is a very hot pink. First red ochre, which is the matte one. I'm kind of applying it all over the lid. Now I use this pointy brush for the outer corner of the eye and I'm going to use the Cypress Umbra. For the outer corner, I literally just push it in and blend in circles. And with a cleaner brush, I'm going to use Golden Ochre and clean up the top of the crease. Okay, so now I washed my under eyes from the fallout. Now I'm going to prep my skin with the Smashbox Primerizer. It's my favorite primer ever and it's extremely moisturizing. For my face, I'm using the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. It is a full coverage cream and it 
has SPF 50 in it, which basically means I'm wearing SPF 100 today because my SPF that I applied before has SPF 50. I pump a little bit on the Beauty Blender and I start bouncing it on my face. Okay, I think I'm good for the face. Now I'm going to follow with concealer. Now, this is a very, very lightweight, dewy concealer. So what I've been doing recently is I apply the glossy Stretch Concealer first and it gives me a little bit of coverage. So once I apply the glossy Concealer, and blend it a little bit. I go over it with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but because I already applied Glossier, I'm gonna apply the tiniest dots of this right here. Some days I do go with just the Glossier or just the Shape Tape, but today I did feel like layering them. For spots, I do go in with just Glossier. I'm highlighting with my cream stick by Glossier, the Halo Scope. Done. My favorite part. Now I'm setting my under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Tapping the powder very gently, not rubbing around. And for the rest of my face, the one and only Wowder. This face powder brush I got from BoxyCharm. It's this brand called Royal and Lignical. It's honestly really nice and easy to apply powder with. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Um, I did receive that Tarte contour and highlight set and I have tried it and it's really nice. The thing is, I don't have it with me at the moment. I move around a lot during the week between houses so I don't have it with me right now. And if I had it, I would probably use it right now for this video. Next, I'm highlighting with my Ofra Ro Rodeo Drive. And for blush, I'm using my Too Faced Love Flush in Justify My Love. It's very pink, it's not peachy, it's more cool toned. And as you know, I go in with blush. Now that I finished the face, I'm going back to my eyes and I'm doing the lower lash line with, with the brush that came with the palette by Anastasia. I mean brown, not black. I'm now setting my face with the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. It's my favorite right now. It really, really does illuminate your skin and melt your makeup into your face in a good way. <laughs> um, finally, you know what I forgot? The brow bone and inner corner highlight. I actually have the brush right here because I was planning on doing it but I forgot. I'm going with the lightest shade in the palette. 
that's sort of matte for my brow bone and then I go in with this one for my brow bone this one for my inner corner and it makes all the difference or so I like to think the lashes AKA the look. Honestly, for me, there's no look without lashes. It's a totally different eye. <laughs> For lips, I'm using this airy ink velvet. It was a gift from my cousin. It's, I believe, Japanese and it works as a lip stain. When I apply it, it honestly feels like velvety. Now I switched to a low ponytail and my makeup is all done now. Thank you for watching. <laughs>